Hello and welcome to episode 27 of our Timberborn update for hard mode. Let's play with the Iron Teeth faction. It is cycle 35. We're in day three of the uh, temperate season right now, trying to fill up our reservoirs and recharge our batteries, which is going to be a pretty tall task considering they were completely depleted at the beginning of this temperate cycle. But we have a dozen water wheels here that are producing about 340-ish a piece and... We also have this one over here that is very slowly filling up. Very slowly. But provided we have at least another three days, which we do because we haven't had the drought timer go off yet, we should be in very good shape to get this completely filled all the way back up. And also generate a little bit more power here and improve these batteries as well. And last episode, we started blasting out here to put in additional gravity batteries, and we're going to continue doing that. We've got a number of things we want to uh, make sure that we are staying on top of in today's episode. So it's going to be a lot of uh, going back and forth, taking care of individual small things, make sure we can get everything done that we want to get done. Let's go ahead and pause real quick, go over what we want to fix today. We had just a small uh, list of stuff from the comments that you guys wanted to see addressed. Uh, first off, bot production. If we take a look at our facilities here, we do have all of uh, all the part factories and all the assemblers working. But if we check our supplies here, we only have two limbs. We have 32 heads and we have 33 chassis. So let's take a look at our factories that are making the limbs. And it seems like they have... Aha! This one is missing planks. So what we can actually do here, since we have a lot of haulers, let's prioritize all of the bot part factories by haulers. Just to make sure they can get appropriately supplied. Hopefully that'll fix stuff. We have plenty of planks. It is not going to be an issue of not having the planks. We have almost 300 in this district. We should be fine. So that ought to take care of that. We already talked about gravity batteries. We're going to be adding, hopefully, at least two here before the drought is over, or the drought, the temperate cycle is over. And we're going to continue to expand down this way as we're able to uh, get these trees out of the way, which is why we built this kind of snaking staircase here. As this reservoir drains during droughts, then they'll have access to a couple different lumberjack flags on platforms to take care of these trees. But that's going to be probably toward the back half of the next drought before this is uncovered. We just want to get as much water up here as we can so we can continue to power all of this stuff, and it looks like that's exactly what's happening here, albeit a little slowly. But it should uh, should get better as time goes on. So pause again, because one of the things I really wanted to do was increase the number of water wheels we have here. And this is not exactly the best channel for that. Well, water channel. YouTube channel might also not be the best channel for that either. There's plenty of people that are better at this game than I am, but what we're going to end up doing is seeing just how many more of these we can build before the end of our temperate cycle here. Now, you might have noticed that I played myself here by putting this, uh, this triple floodgate in this spot. So what I'm going to do actually is to demolish this. And you might be saying, that's really stupid. Well, I mean, maybe, kind of. But the reason for doing that is so we can build here. And also because I think it's going to be much more valuable to us to have the uh, water control area be down here past this giant hole dug by the dirt excavator. And especially now that the beavers and the bots can access over here, I think that is going to be what we want to do. So I'm going to come right down here and we're going to put in I believe a single high will be sufficient for now because we don't have any other way to uh, do anything. It's not going to be that big of a deal. We can always just put something else here if we so choose. It's not going to be a huge loss. So we'll just build that there, see if they can take care of what they got to take care of. This will just continue flowing down here. We're going to lose a little bit of water, but it's not that big of a deal. I am going to go ahead and prioritize these things though. So let's get that built. And we can also come over here and start constructing our other set of water wheels. 
So we are going to have to build a platform here, but that's fine. Just make sure I have the uh, stuff stuck in the correct spot. Looks like that is going to be where that's supposed to go, so that's good. And then we'll do the same thing right here if we can get these connected. We stand a pretty good chance of everything being A-OK. -okay. It is certainly a process, though, as uh, all of you will be painfully, painfully aware of. We do have a lot of beavers on the task, though, so that's good. So this is going to be another two water wheels that'll get us most likely another 600 to 650 ish power, which will help us charge our batteries a little bit faster. We know we have at least three more full days because we have not had that drought warning yet. So we'll see how that happens to uh, end up working. Now we have a couple choices here. I do want to put more wheels going this way, but we have the unfortunate kink that's happened here. And I think in the long run, I want to straighten this out. So to that end, we do have the terraforming, which seems to be... Uh, more or less okay. Unfortunately, uh, our bots have to get around all of this, and that's not going to be very easy, considering we've completely blocked everything off. But I do want to go ahead and start filling all of this in. Yes, even there. Now, the bad part about this is these trees are presently in the way. And I don't know that they can actually reach those. They probably can't. Which is uh, kind of a pain. Kind of a pain because of how this is all set up here. So that's going to have to end up being one of those annoying things we just kind of have to deal with. But I'm not completely married to the idea of having all of this perfectly, completely, amazingly straight forever. It's just one of those things that would be nice, you know? So actually, what I should be doing... Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it doesn't matter that I have the uh, stuff coming out this way. Eh. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I will go ahead, though, and uh, not click on the wrong place for unplanting. We'll uh, We'll fix that. There we go. I'm going to start putting in these terrain blocks. Yes, this area that we so painstakingly uh, started filling in holes for, or not filling in holes, creating holes for irrigation. We're going to get rid of that because we don't need these trees up here. This is not a great spot to be growing trees. This is a good spot for power generation, especially because of all of these trees growing down here now. And actually, uh, tangentially speaking, uh, remember a comment saying, hey, you didn't mark these for cutting, so guess what? We're going to mark them for cutting. And now they're marked for cutting, except they can't be cut. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be waiting a little while on that one. Well, just figured we'd go ahead and do that while we're here. I can click on the correct spot again. All right. And, of course, we're going to be planting more trees here as well. Uh, again, the idea is to remove as much dependency on the engines as possible by way of con uh, constructing more gravi gravity batteries, excuse me, and uh, relying on more water wheels during our very short temperate season. So these guys will do their best on that, and it looks like, looks like our construction of stuff over here is also going well. So just make sure these are the correct... Oh, that's got to have a cool view. I hadn't noticed like the burnt titanium kind of texture on the uh, the bot constructor. That's actually really neat. I'm assuming this uh, model ends up modifying itself as different components are added or it goes to a certain completion percentage. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, these aren't even halfway grown yet. All right, well, that's fine. We weren't ever going to get everything completely perfect this time around anyway. So we'll just... Uh, 
I'll just do one of these. So I can already hear you saying, wait, you're just making it smaller. Uh, technically, yes. However, comma, uh, all of this is going to be straightened out, filled with these wheels, removed of all possible character, and uh, exploited for power generation purposes, just like the Iron Teeth intend. So, oh, we're actually backing up here? That shouldn't be, uh, that shouldn't be backing up. Now, why is that? Why is that happening? Did we do something dumb? Oh, that's a side effect of clogging up this channel, isn't it? I think, oh boy. Well, this is not great news. I figured we'd be in, uh, in better shape here. This is actually too deep. Too deep, really? Am I going to have to put another channel? Am I going to have to get rid of all of these? Put another channel in? Yikes. All right, well, that could be a good uh, a good dry season project. Just remove all of these and deepen the center by one block. Unless it happens to equalize. I don't know. We'll see. It seems like it's catching up. It might be okay. Interesting for sure. Now, what are we waiting for? Planks? All right. Let's just get that built ASAP, please. All right, so that's all done, and it's not connected. This is this is not, not ideal. All right, so where's the rest of the logs? Where's the rest of the planks? Bring that stuff in here immediately. I need this with great haste. Are those four ways or three ways? Um, in the interest of... Making sure this actually gets finished. Let's make that a four-way. In case we ever have to uh, break off of here. But boy, this sure is a uh, very straight power generation segment, isn't it? Now, if I could just harvest the rest of this, I think we'll be in good shape. That's one thing we could also be doing is putting in charging stations here. I had not considered that. Probably would have been smart. But I digress. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Four more planks. There we go. Finish it up. Build these things. And then we can all move on with our lives. Now, as long as we don't have any silly billies, should be all good to go. It is kind of concerning how much this is backing up, though. I normally would not be in favor of deepening this because then it makes it less effective, but this is literally overfilling to the point where it can't uh, put all the water through. All right, so now look at that. Oh, we're making almost 15,000. Love that. Hey, more than 15. All right, we are cooking now. We are certifiably insane. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, let's uh, let's get to this then. We we can just do this one half, since that's actually still accessible. Let's see what they can uh, cook up for all that. But that's gonna be really exciting if we can recharge our battery. Look at them! Look at them! They're going. They're making their way up. Now come back over here. Yes, yes, this is what we want. And I can actually go ahead and build this uh, gravity battery right now, because. Worst comes to worst, we can just keep blasting away underneath. I actually don't know how deep this one on the left is. And I don't think we need this bridge here either. Sometimes when I do the bridges, I get some, uh, shall we say, incensed comments about uh, I don't know how to use the bridges. Uh, you're absolutely correct. I don't. Uh, again, as a reminder, I am not good at this game. I just pretend to be. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole thing. But we have a good time, and that's what matters. I just hope they can actually reach this before this is finished uh, building. I'm, I am going to pause this right now, just to make sure they can get these dynamite blocks in. Because I think that's why I hadn't placed it before. 
because I knew they wouldn't be able to get in to this spot specifically to put dynamite if this was in the way. And there's several more blocks it has to uh, has to go down. So we're going to have to uh, patiently wait for them to put all this dynamite in and actually construct it. Meanwhile. All right, so that's working out nicely. Let's... Uh, Let's just finish these power shafts real quick. All right, is that drought warning coming? There it is. All right, so we have all of day six, all of day seven, all of day eight. Drought will begin on day nine. So good thing too, because we managed to add three more water wheels so far. As soon as they get these uh, power shafts connected, then we'll be generating even more power. And the gravity batteries are very, very close to being completely full. Love to see that. It's very exciting stuff. The problem now is our uh, our bots and our beavers are getting tired. Because they got so much else going on. I just need them to build these three, and then we'll have one more. Just as soon as I can prove that no silly billies will occur as a result of this. Now, I know this is only, only giving 26 HP, but... It's something. And in the future, this will end up being a lot more useful. So I think we'll be just fine. See, look at this guy's already going fast. Because his uh, output is substantially reduced. We just have to wait for these trees to grow. In fact, I'm going to unplant all of these trees. Well, all of those trees, at least. Okay, let's get that... Now we do have this outlet here that is uh, presently allowing water through. If we really wanted to be crazy, we could just force it all to come through this side, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Gravity batteries are completely full, which is excellent news. All right, how are we looking here? Take care of that, take care of that, get those down about as far as they can go. And since all the gravity batteries are completely charged, it doesn't matter when we build this because it will always start completely charged. It's also something I considered doing if we had a lot of resources, but we still needed the power to make other things. Could just delete the gravity batteries that are all the way down and build new ones because they're always going to start with a full charge. It's only slightly game-breaking. Just a little bit. All right, now what other, uh, what other things can I... Uh, improve, shall we say. I don't think we're going to be able to get through all of this. But we're going to try. We are going to try. We might actually want to put a second uh, second floodgate somewhere. Somewhere in here. Just for our uh, sanity's purpose. I think we'll just put that there, but I, I do need to make sure that we don't have a huge outflow of water coming through this area, but we do still need to be able to get some, so we'll stick that there. This right here is going to be nice because it's going to allow us to keep a little bit higher level of water in this area, and this is now a huge reservoir we could pump from if we absolutely had to, but I don't think we're ever going to need to again because we have 11,000 water stored. I think we're fine. Don't think there's any cause for alarm whatsoever. So now all I have to wait for is these guys getting over here to uh, take care of everything that they're supposed to be doing. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of water wheels. We are going to get this to be uh, more or less what it needs to be to have just a complete straight line of wheels all the way out. Which means we are going to get rid of these uh, water pumps. But we really, we really don't need these here. It is just a very unnecessary thing. Now, I have noticed our limb situation for the bots hasn't really improved. But it also hasn't gotten worse. Now we have five backups instead of two. So maybe it's working. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. After ten minutes of screaming. Because apparently that's how they decide they have power. I don't know. It's been like 15 years since I watched that. Alright, so that's all the way at the bottom. Which means we can go ahead and put in another gravity battery there. 
And this one's not far behind. We just need to be sure we can actually uh, take advantage of all that. So what we're going to do now, we have the ability to is uh, decide, do we want to have this one have one right next to it? Or do we want to come around the corner? and not have them be completely connected and leave this space in the middle here for uh, something else. That would mean we'd have to do a lot more blasting. If we kept going this way, we wouldn't have to worry about it. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion. I think either way is fine. We're not going to need that much power anyway. Especially now that we have all our gravity batteries figured out. Oh, are we flooded down here? We absolutely are flooded down here. Why? Why is that? All right, let's um, let's address this. It's not really a uh, not really a great way to uh, do with that. We also at some point really need to redo this uh, bottom area here and make the outlet path much wider going this way. We got we got problems. Lots of problems. So let's open that. That's already all the way open. Okay, all right. Just, just, just stop flooding over here. Oh, the lake's full. The lake is full. Oh boy, this is the first time that's ever happened. That's why this is flooding. So we actually, we actually filled it up. I can't believe it. Man, what a time to be alive. If only we had uh, excavated out a little bit more with our dynamite. But, wow, that. That is exciting, friends. That is quite exciting. So what we're going to do now... Oh, this is going to take so long. <laughs> it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be so annoying. But we've got to start... Uh, we've got to start excavating down here. We have so much... So much excavating to do. Okay, that is going to be... We're going to find out real quick. Okay, so this has to go here. Is what we found out. There we go. Not that any of this matters, really. But we'll do our best. Okay, now it's going to come out to there. That means all of this should be accessible should, being the operative term, should be accessible from this one strip of land land, path and this is a lot of dynamite, it's going to take us a very long time to put all these down but when we're done, we're going to have access to a ton of extra storage space uh, unfortunately we have filled this up so we are going to have to open up our uh, emergency spillways to prevent further flooding of everything but hey, how about that? We actually filled this up. That is exciting. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this all the way back up. Wow, look how fast that came in. And let this fill up over the next 0.3 days. All right, and I'll put that all the way back up to three. I don't think enough can come in in the next little bit to really uh, sink us that bad. So instead, 0.2 days, we'll just fill up our backup reservoir here. And then, uh, well, I, if it's turning the wrong way, it still is uh, giving us power, so I guess that's fine. Let's see how long of a drought we have. And perhaps more importantly, whether or not we're going to finish that drought in today's video. If it's a short one, we can't. If it's not, well, you know what that means. you got to wait till Tuesday. And 28 days. Yeah, we're definitely not finishing that today. Because we're already about 24-ish minutes in. So. Now we have to decide, do we want to take all of these out and blast a channel down the middle? I don't think we need to. I think we're still doing okay to the point where that's not going to be necessary. But what we can actually do this time around is we can wait for these to grow. We have another 15 days for uh, most ish 15 ish days for most of these and we can more or less completely straighten this out get rid of the forestry and all that or forester excuse me this is not ostrich 
take care of all that, be in good shape. This no longer has to be a huge priority, so that's good. And this one didn't quite get as full as we wanted, but, but we have the opportunity here. Actually, we should have put one of those uh, mechanical pumps over here. We have the opportunity to uh, hold on the water, which is going to be nice when we don't need to use any of it. But as we start blasting out of here, the water level will lower and we can gradually release some. And then also harvest these trees. So right now he can't do anything until this goes down by about, I don't know, about a quarter of a block. And then he can get to uh, all these trees. And then when it goes down all the way to here, which probably isn't happening, he can get to almost all the trees. Almost. We just have a little bit more to go in the dynamite uh, realm for this. That should be the last block. As soon as that's done, we can start building, well, finish building this gravity battery and then decide exactly what we want to do. Let's look, at, look how slowly that's going down. Man, that is going to last us quite a long time. Especially when we start shutting off production we don't need. If we were to uh, do such a thing. These guys are still all the way up. I am very interested, though, to see how long it takes all this terraforming to get done. That's that's uh, going to be something. Yeah, see, this tree is going to be, what, 15 and a half days before we can harvest it, get its wood, and then put a large water wheel there. That's going to be fun. It's going to take them quite a while. Wow, we already have that much done? That is very surprising. So I can't decide if I want to just take individual segments of this whole uh, lake all the way down as far as they go, or just go down one level at a time. I'm kind of tempted to just keep doing the same segments, but I also know that's going to be a bit of a challenge. So we'll probably just take it a little bit at a time, see what happens. There are obviously areas that would be easier to do than others. We just have to be able to uh, get there. We do fortunately have uh, some stairs right here we can take advantage of. We'll put in a little uh, access point there. And then I believe if I have this set up correctly now, I can actually blast all of this out. And then we can start doing this entire little uh, plateau area here. What well, you know the end result of this is going to end up being that we have this entire thing blasted all the way down to bedrock, and then we have uh, huge quantities of water stored here that we could never ever hope to actually use. Well, in reality, we probably shouldn't ever go any lower than uh, what's underneath here for all of these pumps, and I think these were blasted all the way down. I believe that means most of this lake can go down another three or four blocks. And based on the cheaty underground view, I believe that to be correct. Oh, the creepy chanting's back. Okay, now they're gone. Oh, they're back. I don't know, that's unsettling. So this is going to be a lot of what we're doing for the rest of the episode. It's just watching explosives get put in place. Making sure we have enough, which we seem to. We have 342. We only have 28 in this district, so, so what gives with that? Probably our mine over here, which, by the way, is uh, very close to being flooded. I did not think it was going to be... Uh, oh, never mind. I didn't have all these layers turned back on. But yeah, this ended up coming in uh, pretty handy. Except now our uh, explosives factory here is flooded, but that's not a big loss. It seems to be just fine. So I think by now these should be in place, and they are. Unpause that. And then, uh, just for good measure, I'll put a four-way right there. Did we need it? I don't think we will, but it's good to have. Just get those done, and then... Look, at, look how little battery we've used. Granted, it's only been two and a half days of the drought, but looking up, looking good. I am interested, though, to see how much they can do here. 
And once we set these explosives off, which I think now we can safely do this one because it's all uh, all taken. So let's uh, let's get nice and close here and set this off here. Well, that was an interesting sound. <laughs> oh boy! All right, so that increased our volume enough to lower that by almost, almost one full uh, plank here on the, uh, that's actually are still going down, but one full plank on the uh, levy, levy asset uh, graphics. I don't know what the correct term actually is for that. We're looking good. We are looking good. Looking good. These might actually end up being charged overnight. Wow, how about that? Now, how do we still have 10,000-ish being produced? These aren't still rotating, right? No. Did we build that many... That many, uh... Engines? Wow. No wonder we don't have any wood. We're burning all of it. Now, I did mark all of this as cuttable. I did not. Okay, I'm sure somebody, uh... Somebody left a comment reminding me to do that. So uh, this is me answering that comment that I may or may not have seen. So that's good to know. That is very good to know. We're working through all of that stuff. Now, what else? What else can we do? Well, the most common thing you guys were asking for was to deepen the lake, which, of course, we're already in the process of doing. There's not too much more I can do with that right now. But other things, you guys want to see a lot more with the well-being, which... Uh, admittedly, there's stuff that we can improve, but a lot of it's already really good. Now, we have our Tribute to Ingenuity here that is currently turned off. Wow! Let's turn that guy back on. And he will encompass... Wow! Every beaver that is currently living in an enabled house in Beaverburg 9. These are just for power transmission now. So we're not going to worry about those. Eventually, I want to move all the bio beavers back into Beaverburg and make all of this just completely bots. But we only have 18 unemployed bots right now. We'll check in on stuff over here. We actually have two bots in this district that aren't working, but that is because these are flooded down here. We have our water dumps, two water dumps, and then our explosives factory are flooded. Now we have three that aren't working, so we don't need to mess with this. That's all fine. That district is looking all right now. As far as jobs are concerned, we have 50, 52, excuse me, 52 jobs here in Frog Bowl. Um, some of them probably don't need to exist if we were to turn all of this into bots, like the medicine maker doesn't need to do that. The uh, pumping probably doesn't need to be quite as uh, severe. But uh, other than that, I think everything is probably fine. We have farming, of course. And then builders, uh, we probably don't need to have haulers, uh, easily could become bots. But the problem with this district turning into bots is we have to have power everywhere. And while we do have it here, we don't have it at all over here. And that would be kind of a pain to get stuff over there. So that could be kind of a long-term project. And then, of course, here in our favorite district, Pumpington, love that name, um, <laughs> we have a, a lot of jobs that could very easily be automated mostly pumping as the name might imply with a little bit of building as well as uh, a lot of timber harvesting all of which are completely automatable but for the time being let's just go district by district uh, go to Beaverburg and just automate everything that we can find including the things well we're not gonna worry about the engines but farmhouses easily could be automated and that's probably going to take up most of our uh, bots. Four. Okay, so we actually still had some. Good. All right. Um, no, I don't want the global view. I want Beaverburg. There we go. Water pumps. No. All automated. Well, they're not automated. They're bots. 
not quite the same thing. Engines, explosives factories, farmhouses, just did. Fermenters that are already there. Food factories are already there. Why is this... Okay, doesn't have materials for corn rations, really? Foresters, that one now is good to go. All right, we need more bots, so I think we can stop there, but we have a pretty good idea that just about everything that can be automated is already automated. Save for the lumberjack flags and uh, water dumps. So we have plenty of stuff to do. But we will be working our way toward that. Now let's continue uh, getting rid of some of these breeding pods if we find any that are... Uh, at a place they can safely be turned off or removed. Doesn't seem likely. Well, that's all right. But we are going to need to get rid of those because as the well-being increases, so does the lifespan. Well, that's good for the beavers. It's bad for us because then we have to have something for them to do. That's not always, not always the best. All right, so uh, let's take a look here, if I put a forester right here, they can fit. Oh, they can they can still do that up here, huh? Okay, we'll do that then. Let's also clean up our pathing here. We do not need this here, so that can go away. I do want to uh, try to maximize our plantable tree space here. And it seems this is the point where my computer starts to fall behind. You can see in the corner, I'm only getting 50 FPS now. If we zoom in, does it get any better? Okay, marginally. Well, that's fine. We're only watching this video in 60 FPS anyway, so I guess we really should not be that concerned about it. Actually, let's, uh, I know this This is hideous. But I just want it to be straight. Nope, stop that. Get back on the road. Go do something else. It's the same distance anyway. It shouldn't matter. All right, now we can put in, let's see. That can still reach everything. Good. This will now become all oak trees. as well as up here, I believe, will work just fine. And yep, they can get all of that. So that's going to be a nice addition of trees. The good news is we have so much water here and so much that we can let out, we shouldn't really ever have to worry about this being dry. That being said, I also know that it can be very annoying when this kind of thing goes south despite... Uh, every effort made to plan in advance. So what I'm going to do, I believe, is uh, blow this up. We'll put a dump here because, again, we have tons of water. Should be fine. And I don't think we're going to need to be worried about too much else in that regard. So as soon as they get these in, of course, we'll blow this up. Or maybe we wait till we can put all the dynamite here as well. See what happens. Other than that, it's a whole lot of hurry up and wait. Got 22 days left. We've used about 2,700, not even 1,700. Math is hard, folks, of our gravity battery. So I think we're doing quite well. We just have to turn on these pumps at some point to let water out of here to refill our reservoir as that level gets lower. But uh, right now, I think we're doing just fine. So what we can focus on while they're doing that is more of this well-being stuff. Let's again take a look here. Food is pretty good. I think coffee we might be able to improve slightly. But the, the big need right now is campfires. Campfires, rooftop terraces. We already have a pretty good amount of rooftop terraces here, but that it's not nearly enough, clearly, for all of these uh, beavers' needs. So we want to make sure that we have campfires and things accessible for beavers to do and a good way to do that is actually lower the working hours so we're going to go down to 12 instead of 16 
because, well, most of the really important jobs are fully automated in this district. And, of course, Timbertron over here is fully automated. And then, for, let's be honest, nothing that happens here matters, and Pumpington's fine. So, that should give them a little bit more time to have access to everything they already are wanting to be using. And we can take a look here about how we can improve our outflow. And we don't have anything built on the top of this yet. So let's go ahead and detonate this out. And then we're going to uh, remove these farmhouses and blast underneath them, which we can actually do now. Get rid of that. And we're actually going to uh, get all of this as well. But we're going to have to rebuild bridges for that, and that's going to be kind of a pain. We just need to remember what is actually built on top of here. It's not going to be possible for us to really uh, get rid of everything here. Some of it is going to be pretty annoying to uh, <laughs> remove and rebuild. But we're going to do our best. Uh, we really, really need to just make sure that we have more outflow available when the water's coming through here. So, this is a good start. And actually, this can be uh, removed and detonated. Should end up being fine. Well, being 48, very nice. We're getting there. Now, they're not going to be able to get rid of this stuff for the time being because... We have all of these that they're still placing. Those came higher up in the hierarchy. So we'll just have to leave that alone for right now. No, we do not have a lot of canola seeds. But we do have a lot of canola oil, so I'm not really pressed for that. That one's free. You're welcome. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll come back in and check on that a little later. Now the good news is this is available now, and we have Rakash over here. Harvesting logs. And why is he going all the way over here to put stuff in storage, really? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. We got we got to give this guy some help. We'll give him a little bit of uh, log storage here. So he doesn't have to walk all the way around the map. That should help his effectiveness substantially. Now, we have these gravity batteries slowly discharging. I think we're going to be fine for another 20 days. And we have so much wood now that I don't think we need to turn these off. But remember, I'm trying to wean us off of the uh, the engines as a power source and go entirely to quote-unquote renewables. All right, well, I guess if you want to split hairs, burning logs is also renewable because you can just grow more trees. But in the spirit of how uh, the real world uses the word renewable, we're going to go with the water, uh, the water wheels and everything. So let's take a look at our well-being again. Books uh, probably are not going to have a great return on investment right now, but that's going to be one of the very last things that we're probably going to be able to get up to get to our theoretical max of, what is it, 60 in vanilla? Something like that. Uh, other easy easy things to fix would be shrines. We can put a bunch of those in. Carousel is going to be a little harder because we're going to have to find a place for that to go that's actually accessible. Um, uh, roofs are easy, beaver statues and shrubs. That's all stuff we can just kind of plunk down wherever. So let's go ahead and start with some shrines. Let's just find random little spots that probably, probably are not going to end up having to be something else. Like right here would be a decent one. Right here would be a decent one. Again, just trying to give them a few more options should they decide they need to go take care of that particular need. I'm not really seeing a lot else. So we may very well leave that for now. Let's check our breeding pods. We're going to have a huge birth wave here in a second, aren't we? That one is... Okay, these are about to go. I'm just going to get rid of that one. That's fine. But these two are about to give us beavers. We can get rid of them lickety-split as soon as those pop out. Which should be any moment now. There we go. Goodbye. And you too. As soon as you're finished. And goodbye. So, uh, 
this is still going to keep going up. It might have not been enough to uh, reduce our population curve, but it's the thought that counts, right? We have three left here, we have two here, and then we have another six over here. So we still have more than we need. And we're probably going to want to decrease the number of uh, beavers overall. Anyway. Yeah, see, this is already looking a little dry, so I'm glad we put this dynamite here that's going to help us keep things irrigated. Uh, not to worry, we do have the ability to let water out. I will just lower it to zero, why not? We'll just get that going all the way down. Refill the lake a little bit. Keep it nice and topped up. And yeah, so now it's nighttime. We can take a look and see who is using what. We have some of these populated, some of these aren't. It is kind of a trek to get up to uh, up to here. We probably could put in another entrance to the top level and improve a lot of stuff that way. We just have to find a uh, good place for that to go. If we're not going to be building out to a side, I think it would benefit us to put in another staircase, like maybe just right up here even. So if we did that... Ah, but we have the bridge there. We have the bridge there. We don't have to have that be a bridge. We can have that be literally anything else. So let's do that. Let's actually uh, have this fully connect here. And I think I did this. I think I did this correctly. I guess we didn't need this at the top then, did we? All right, cool. Then we'll just get rid of that. That saves us some construction. But now that's going to be accessible to get to this side. We already have the stairs here. And I guess if we really wanted to, we could connect this, but I don't think we need to. I think that's going to be just fine the way it is. Now this side. Uh, this is probably still okay. I guess we could do the same thing that we already did if we really felt like it. Yeah, we still don't have any uh, explosives here, but this, this, friends, this is ready to go. So let's look in the middle. Yes, I love that dip down to one frame per second. So that's cool. And of course, we have to come up here and just guesstimate how much we're actually able to... Uh, Plant here. They can still do that. What about now? What about now? What about now? What about now? Okay, that was that was a bad choice because I realized they could just get to a uh, that other side. All right, so I messed up. That's fine. There we go. Admittedly, I should have uh, done this before we set all that off, but it's just so much fun to blow stuff up, you know. I don't think anyone's gonna possibly argue with me on that. And of course, now they're uh, they're putting these in. So just out of interest for sanity, I think we'll, we'll just come back and look at that a little later. But the well-being has improved. Access to campfires and rooftop terraces is now actually almost everybody on the rooftop terraces could still use another campfire or two. So I think we'll go ahead and stick in a campfire or two down on the back side here. They should be able to take care of that nicely. And then I think we could put in maybe one one or two more of those rooftop terraces. We just have to be able to get on top of stuff. Think about how we want our pathways to go up. I just realized this major thoroughfare between here and all the way down here is still completely underground. We just end up skipping this entire uh, thing. Huh. Well, I mean, if it works, it works. So this is all. Oh, this is almost something I could have put a uh, almost something I could have put a rooftop terrace on. But I think that's a pretty important connector right there. So we're not gonna get rid of that. What we will do, I think, is ding, ding, ding. Uh, well, I was thinking. I guess I'm not thinking anymore. 
I was going to try and find a way to fit this platform in with the uh, roofs of these medium warehouses, but I don't know if I can directly connect any of that. I don't know. All right, so what's our deal with corn? Do we need to plant more corn? I think we do. This seems to not be uh, not be going great. Eggplant. Oh, we have tons of eggplant. Why is this eggplant? This should have been corn. All right, let's uh, unplant, unplant the eggplant, and replant the corn plant. Now this is not all grown yet, so of course we're gonna have to wait for that. Actually, the kohlrabi over here probably isn't necessary at all anymore either. And realistically, probably should be canola over here. So let's unplant the kohlrabis and turn those into canola as soon as they're all gathered up. So we'll have to remember to come back to that in a second. All right, now... 17 days left in the drought. I want to see if our numbers on the rooftop terraces and campfires have improved marginally, I guess, kind of. Shrubs, roofs, and beaver statues. Let's find some places to do that kind of thing. Now, we can, we can do this pretty much almost anywhere. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We did not fix these corner pieces here. We have the ability to uh, do that. We should have already done it, but we haven't, so we will. Boy, that probably sounded like some pure gibberish. All right, so that will take care of roofing for them. I believe that is now every single house over here should be good to go with roofs. Every single one of these, except, except these guys. So what we'll do here... See if I can cheese it with the one by ones. I believe I can. So we'll do that business over here like we uh, were supposed to be doing the whole time. These are already good to go. The stairs to nowhere. Multiple people have asked if I'm going to take them down. Maybe at some point. But right now it's not hurting anything to leave those up. It's just kind of ugly. But this isn't an aesthetic build, so we're A-OK. -okay. Now the fun part's going to be over here. Can I... I was just within one tile. Okay, that's not going to be good enough. Let's just do something really dumb. And do that. Now, I know I have this here, but is there any other housing in this district no so oh he's not going to reach that is going to be annoying unless unless we do this give him a little uh, covered entrance it's always a nice uh, fun thing now beaver statues beaver statues I don't remember oh we have one there good we need another one within the distance of uh, these things. So guess what? We're going to put up another roof piece and another beaver statue facing out this way. There you go. Very nice. So now we just have to go around to our other housing. We have one there. We have one here. And then I think these only last for uh, a certain distance. So let's put... I know this seems kind of stupid, but hey, bear with me. Bear with me, beavers. This is all in the name of efficiency. <laughs> we'll put in those guys there. And then we'll come over here. I don't think hardly any of this has been blessed with a beaver statue. So I think what we're going to do, as you may have already guessed, let's come over here put in our blessed beaver statue right there and then once more in the middle once more in the middle face that one around to the other side 
And then all we have to do here... Oh, no, we can't reach it. Okay, it's fine. We'll just replace that with a platform. And then put another platform here. Uh-oh, those are lower. Well, that's okay. Lesser beavers. Face that way. And now they have some fun construction projects. That should satisfy all of their needs for beaver statues and roofs. Next is shrubs. So in our uh, fantastic world tour of questionable architecture... Hey, look, it went up to 50. Our world tour of questionable architecture... We can go ahead and put in some additional shrubberies right here, just like so. Is it stupid? Yes. Does it work? Also yes. Which means, say it with me, it's not stupid. Ah. Uh, okay, well that's alright for that to be that way will be A-OK. -okay. Cool. So by those being in the uh, center of the buildings, everybody in the building has access to that, so that's good. All right, bots, get out of here. Cool. And now this can get turned into just straight-up platforms and then uh, farmhouses. I think these guys are already covered. They're fine, so we'll uh, we'll leave those there. Which means we can now move that to the top of there. Check our breeding pods. See if there's any more we can get rid of. Oh, this one. Almost. Almost. We're getting there. We're making big strides today, folks. Look at that. 53. All right. You're out of here. What about these guys? We, we can't get rid of all of them, but I do want to get rid of most of them. Okay, I think we have some more explosions we can set off. At least up here. Uh, but I'm not going to do those quite yet. I'm going to put in some additional dynamite right here. Hopefully they can still reach that. Okay, one more. There we go. Now that has to go back. This has to go here. Very good. Then we'll set all of that off. Uh, how are we doing resupplying our water level? It's not looking fantastic. But it is looking okay. So we'll stick that there. And we have exhausted our natural draining abilities. So on with the pumps. Now this will test our gravity batteries by adding an additional 1,400 demand. And you can see them going down quite quickly, but this is going to continue to let us utilize the water that we've already stored up, which is fantastic news. All right, these are ready to go. I think that should be enough. There. If I get rid of this, can they still reach that one? They can. Very good. And we are getting just about to the end of our time for today, but I did want to make sure that we had as much of this done as we could. This hopefully will be a big help for our uh, well-being as soon as they can build all of that stuff. It's going to take them a little while. Meanwhile, back over here. Ah, yes. We are ready to start blasting away here. That's just about ready to go as well. We're waiting on dirt, uh, which I believe is probably really more like waiting on the bots to uh, make the ridiculously long journey around over here. This could actually be out of range now that I think about it. Let's uh, give them a little help. Yeah, that must have been what it was. Silly me. Could have... Uh, could have done better. Uh, that's fine. What are you going to do? It's not really much you can do, even. So now we get to watch them build here. And then explode here. Look at look at them go. We should have done this a long time ago. So let's uh, prepare for this. I'll just go ahead and remove this forester. We're not going to remove the lumberjack flag. Don't worry. 
That's fine. What we can do, well, we can let them come get all this rubble. That we can easily get rid of this, fill this back in, and keep on building. It's a very slow process. One we will not finish today, but it is nice to see progress made nonetheless. Just got to get our lumberjack here to come up and uh, cut this tree down. All right, 57. 57 was our well-being. Really? That seems kind of high. So good news, campfires and rooftop terraces seem to be mostly good. Shrubs are going to improve as construction continues. I think the 50 that didn't have the shrub power probably live over here. Which, hey, guess what? We have some unshrubified space. So you know what that means. It's shrubbing time. Those can go there. And then our favorite little spots right here can get shrubberied. The most bizarre landscaping known to mankind and to beavers. Now these have to have some shrubs. Which fortunately, I can uh, easily, or maybe not so easily, put over here. And I'm kind of running out of spaces to put things. If I put one here, because it only has the what's the radius one? Yeah, one tile. Yeah, it's not a uh, not great. So I guess what we'll just uh, we'll just do here is uh, cheese it like the uh, snack food. Put those there, and then uh, for me to get to this guy, we'll just stick that there because we have no shame. Exploiting the mechanics of the game is definitely within the, the iron teeth spirit so we're going to embrace that look at look at us go look how much power this is used just having these two pumps turned on wow but our water level is still looking good so love to see that all right so it is nighttime got a 50 maybe i hallucinated the 57 who knows stranger things have happened the shrubbery people have not had shrubberies. But everything else is looking good. Yeah, carousel is going to be a big need we have to focus on for next time. Got to get all these beavers to bed. You're 15. You're out in the middle of the night. Go to bed. Well, okay. His well-being's 60. How did he get all the way? So he's got everything. He has full bonuses. Okay, so does that mean this district is already... This district's at 55. Okay, so that means this district is at 44. What are they missing? Yep, the carousel. And the tribute to ingenuity. Broken teeth. Uh, so that means we need to have teeth grindstones. Uh, i got to find a good place to put one, I guess. Well, that's not really a great spot for it, but... It is one, nonetheless, if we need to. So I guess we'll put one of those there just because we can. I'll put one here. I don't anticipate we're going to need too many of those. Well, that's fine. Turn that back on. All right. Uh, I was going to put in some more explosives. Just do all of this at once. And then I think we're going to be pretty much uh, at a good stopping point for today. We'll set off some explosives, because who doesn't like that? All right. So this was a, a very good thing for us to be able to blow out. That's nice. We'll, of course, continue doing all of this, but it's, it's just going to take so long for us to actually get on that, get on that process. But hey, look, we have eight bot limbs, nine. So it is actually increasing the number of bot limbs we have very, very slowly. We're not out, which is the important thing. And the bot construction can continue. All right, I know I want to get this taken care of as best I can. So they've gotten rid of all of that rubble.
Now the fun part is these are only uh, platforms. So we're going to have to get a little, uh, a little more destructive here in a little bit as soon as they pick up all of this rubble. Let's detonate these. This one tree, I swear, 97%. All right, we'll wait for that guy. And then that's when we'll end today. All right, get that in place. They're going to take their sweet time, I just know it. Now, do I have another Lumberjack flag here, or is that the only one? That seems to be the only one. That's a shame. So let's, uh, let's just gather all of this. See how long it takes them to get that out of here. And then we'll finish up that by putting in a whole bunch more fun. Oh, this is actually ready for us to put in some additional landscaping. There we go. And then we can just go ahead and queue all of this stuff up. Look, look how ridiculous this is. Oh, that's going to cause some issues with our pathing, isn't it? If we put another thing over here. Oh, it certainly will. So maybe we won't. Maybe we won't do that. How long does this guy have? 51%? Okay, we're not going to wait for that. But we can wait for the rest of this just as soon as everything is taken care of. I guess we're just waiting for them to put this last stick of dynamite in. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And I don't want this to get uh, completely cut off, but I do want to make sure that I have the ability to actually use all this. Now, what is the deal with them not putting all this in here? There we go. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's uh, quickly path over this and then get rid of it. Beautiful. Detonate that. All right, so not the end of the world if this is an uneven display, but man, look at that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. 21 of these. We actually probably don't have to have this one here, so I think we can uh, safely put that to bed and just uh, leave them alone for a little while. But I am getting a spinning beach ball cursor in Windows, and that is very, uh, shall we say, concerning. I didn't think that was going to be... Uh... Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's not, let's not do that. I clicked on the wrong spot. Like the uh, genius that I am. All right, so we do need to uh, make sure water can still flow which uh, what I was going to do was replace uh, these with levees. Because I guess it's not really necessary to have any of this at all since we're already there. I don't think it really matters. All right, so got 10 days left. This is probably a pretty good spot to stop. So let's go ahead and turn that down. 56 while being here in Beaverburg. Uh, biggest things we can do to improve seem to be books and the carousel. Uh, those are going to come in due time. We can find a good spot for a carousel. Please do not crash, thank you. Uh, eggplants are growing. I'm going to plant the corn now because I know if I don't I will forget and that would not go well. And I'm going to plant the canola here. And hopefully that ends up solving some of our problems. Everything else looks fantastic. Stuff's going well. Things are about to be blown up. So let's do that, and then we'll get ourselves out of here. That's exciting. And so now, of course, we have to uh, 
put our pathway through here to get everything blown up properly. So we'll go ahead and lay all of that out. And that'll be a next time thing for sure. But I think we're doing well here. That's looking good. Turn this off real quick so we can get a nice glance over here. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're doing quite well. Gone through about half of our power reserves here. We have 10 days left. Uh, I am going to turn off. Not that key. I'm not. I'm going to turn off one of those. Because we don't need them both running. We really don't even need one of them running. But I do want to try to keep this full-ish. Although if it is full, there's no mechanism to get water up. So maybe we just... Uh, what do you say? Quit while we're ahead. Just shut those both off. Conserve some power. Uh, have they gotten rid of all of the... No, they have not. But his uh, storage, I think, is full. Yeah, okay, they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. So that's all looking nice. Gotten a lot of good stuff done today. The well-being improvements alone are worth the cost of admission. And I know this is a kind of a disaster disaster zone up here but we added a whole bunch more wheels and it's only going to get more wheelie 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 cool stuff <laughs> going on up here all right i'm fired <laughs> that, that was that was truly truly just horrible but yeah that's going to do it for today thanks so much for being here i appreciate you taking the time out of your day as always don't forget comments are always open if there's anything you uh want to say any comment suggestions just want to say hi or whatever's on your mind I like talking to you guys, so please do feel free to take advantage of that down below. And uh, also don't forget, we've got some fun stuff coming up this weekend. Of course, we've got Ostrov tomorrow and then Timberborn Drown Nightmare Mode on Saturday, City Skylines on Sunday, and all sorts of fun stuff coming down the pipeline as we reach the conclusion of this series and the Drown series. And it looks like Kingdoms Reborn is only going to be going on for another couple weeks at most because we're blasting right through that one. Check those videos out if you haven't. It's a really fun game. We're having a good time. And this second playthrough is going a whole lot better than the first one did. But yeah, that's it. Of course, big thanks to the Beard Boosters who make all of this stuff possible with their contributions. If you want to be part of that, there's information in the description. But please do not ever feel obligated to give me a single cent or a single view. I'm just glad you're here. And uh, if you want to be part of that, of course, you're welcome to. But please do not ever feel pressured. I appreciate you. And I'm thankful for you being here, even if this is the only video you ever see. I'm glad you chose to spend a little bit of your time today with me. And I hope we'll see you again in the future. So whatever you're doing, have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.